Hey everyone, Jack here with a slightly delayed summer updates video. We've been working on some other projects and uh, I didn't want to let this one slide because there's been some really cool stuff that's been going on. I'm going to talk first about community and then we're going to talk about product updates. So the main event of the last few weeks was the Paris No Code Summit. This happened just over a week or two ago and a number of the Glide team went over and had an amazing time meeting some of you guys. David Siegel gave the keynote at the event right after the opening ceremony talking about Glide's broader approach to building software creation and there was a lot of great feedback from that. The team was super happy to meet so many of you and hear the impact that Glide is obviously having in your work and what you're doing with it. And generally, we just wanted to give a big shout out to the French community, Stanislas, Vincent, Amérique, and Marco. We're obviously really looking forward to next year. Now, if you're not aware, Glide has an ambassador program where we work with and support content creators to build and run communities and teach Glide online. And some of them have been absolutely killing it. We just wanted to give a shout out, special shout out to Darren Alderman, Bob, Grumo and Mitch. They've been creating some amazing content and running some brilliant events. And something that I've been working on a lot for the community recently is the new Glide University. We've had Glide YouTube channel, we've had the documentation, but we've never had a place where someone can go through all of our content sequentially. And we thought what better place to do it than in Glide pages. So if you head to learn.glideapps.com, you'll be able to see this new page here. You can sign in as well and track your progress through things, view upcoming workshops and the whole of Glide's reference library in a much more digestible way. And the thing I'm most excited about is pulling together all the content from the ambassadors that we have here. You can uh, follow ambassadors, view their courses, and you can even view content from different languages as well. So you can head over to learn.glideapps.com and check it out. So a few weeks ago, I did a Pages Updates video, which went into depth about all the major improvements we've been making to Pages recently. But there are a few features that we shipped over the summer period that I wanted to highlight that weren't included in that video. So we now have a really powerful queryable data source architecture that allows us to add much higher scale data sources like BigQuery. And this is the first one that we're adding. So let me take you through how this would work. In Glide, we'll pick new data source, pick BigQuery, and then choose our project and then data set. Now, once that's attached to Glide, we have this preview window where we can write a query and then preview it. And then once we've previewed it, we can save it and use it just like we would with any normal table. We can always edit this table afterwards as well. So collections are really flexible. They allow you to choose these high level layouts for your data and you can even customize them further here, but they are limited in terms of how many uh, properties you can display. It's just set on that top level, but we have now added a new type of collection, which is called the custom collection. So I've got a blank page here just to start from scratch. And if I add a custom collection, you'll see that what we have is this kind of container like component at the top where we can choose different layouts and we can then add components inside. And each component that we add will read from each row on each list item. So for example, here we have the text component bound to the position column. And so for each row, it will show that column or that cell. And we can just basically use this to create our own custom collection design. So if I want to add a button to each collection item, I can do that here. If I want to add an image, I can do that here. And if I want to change the layout, of course, I can go back here and change that here. But you can build some really powerful and customizable uh, collections. And it goes one step further because you can even include collections inside of this custom collection. So what we have here is every list item showing the position and then a description, which is just some dummy text. But then it has the candidates for that position. And therefore you have each list item showing different things inside of it before you even go to the details screen. So this is a really powerful development for Glide Pages and we're really excited to see what you guys do with it. So that's a look at what's new in Glide. We hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to stay more up to date with our features rather than waiting for these videos, you can track our product updates at glideapps.com slash updates. See you soon.